What's up, y'all? Every day, say here back with another video. Listen, long video alert. Just so you know, I'm gonna explain why I personally, me myself, can never accept a cheetah back. Listen, I believe that it's very important that in life we have to learn to forgive people. We have to learn. I don't care how bad somebody does something to you, you gotta learn to forgive because holding a grudge only hurts you it doesn't hurt the other person it will keep you from moving forward into your future because you so focus on holding holding uh grudges from the past but just because i forgive someone does not mean i have to allow them to be in my life or i have to accept them back into my life so the first reason why i wouldn't accept someone back from cheating really the only reason is because you have to understand that cheating is a multi-step process a person has three or four chances to come to the mindset that hey you know what i'm doing is wrong and what i'm doing is probably going to hurt the person that i'm with cheating is selfish it's selfish is i'm gonna do what i want to do regardless of how it makes the other person feel and the other worst part about it is the fact that a lot of times when people get caught cheating it's not because they confess it's because you end up finding out I would have so much more respect for a person if they cheated on me and they came forth to me and said, hey, listen, I did this. I was wrong about it. I shouldn't have done that. But when you got to put on my when I got to put on my inspector gadget hat and I got to go through your phone, go through your text message, go through your Instagram because something don't seem right. I know a lot of y'all going to be like, you shouldn't be doing that anyway. If you don't trust them, you should leave them. Listen, people get intuition wrong all the time. You can sit here and think hey, I think this person is doing something. They might not be doing nothing at all. So I'm a person of hard facts. I don't go based off of my emotions and how I feel and what it feels like. I'm not that type of person. I'm more logical. So I need hard evidence to prove that you've actually cheated on me. And once I have hard, solid evidence, then I move how I move. But I never move based off of how I'm feeling one day or because of a dream that I had or because I think of something. That could just be me being insecure, to be honest with you. But like I said, cheating is a multi-step process. You got to go out there and entertain somebody first. You got to be up in somebody's face, <laughs> kicking, chopping it up, getting to know them, all that other stuff. You got to do that first, first and foremost. Second off, there got to be an exchange of numbers. Y'all got to find out a way to contact outside of where we typically meet, right? So that's two. Number three, y'all got to engage. Y'all keep having conversations through texts and calls and all that stuff. And understand if you got a significant other, that person probably over here deleting messages, deleting this, deleting that. Then you got to meet up with the person, meet physical contact with the person, meet up, go on a date, hang out, spend time together. And then after that, five, you got to break the touch barrier. Somebody at some point going to touch somebody a certain way and you got to be accepting of that. And then six, then all the rest comes along with that. We're sleeping with each other or whatever it is but what you have to understand in that whole scenario you got five times that you violated your relationship you got five times that you had the opportunity to change your mind you have five times to think about the person that you with and how it's hurting that person you have five opportunities to tell this person you know what i'm doing too much you know what this is going way too far you know what my man something inside of me is saying i shouldn't do this I'm not, this isn't me. This isn't me as a person. I don't do stuff like this. I need to, no, I got to cut this off. I got to separate myself from this person. This is not right. But you had those five opportunities. And then if I have to then go and find out that you did that, I'm sorry. But in my mind, it's, it, to me, it feels like you don't respect me as a man. You don't care about this relationship. You don't. And let me tell you something. I set very clear standards whenever I get into a relationship. I set them very clear. I say, this is what I consider cheating. And if you cheat, I'm going to leave. So listen, once I make it clear that I will leave if you cheat, if you decide to cheat, you you clearly don't want to be here. Because I didn't told you. So I was all crying. <laughs> Take me back. I didn't mean I don't care. I don't care. I told you what was going to happen. And this is the consequences of your actions. You step out on me, you lose me. That's how it is, baby. Ultimately, I forgive that person. You know what? We all we all human. We all make mistakes. You know, it is what it is. You can't change the things that we've done. Fine. That it is what it is. But am I going to take you back? Am I going to get back into a relationship with you? Am I going to sit here and recommit myself to you? Absolutely not. Because let me tell you something. If I take you back, I'm going to be questioning everything from that point on. 
I'm be honest with you. I'm gonna question everything. When you ain't, when you don't get home on time, where you at? What you out doing? Whenever I see you just having having a guy around you, what you doing with him? You know, it's gonna be such a high level of insecurity from me that you're not gonna want to be with me because I'm gonna be accusing you of cheating in every single aspect of your life. So listen, I'm doing a favor to me and you by not even continuing the relationship. But let me also say this. There's some people out there that, that got it like that. Some people can be get cheated on and be like, you know what? I can get that person a chance again. That ain't me. I ain't built like that, baby. I ain't built like that. But there are some people out there, they can cheat, you know, reconcile, get back on the same page and continue on and have a successful relationship. That's just not something that I personally can do. I'm not built like that. I'm not. And also, let me tell you something. My actions follow what I do not accept. Meaning that I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I can't. I'm not, I wouldn't accept a cheater back. If I happen to cheat on somebody, don't accept me back. But I'm not a cheater to begin with. So I treat people the way I want to be treated. I don't step out on people. I don't do wrong by people. I don't, I don't intentionally try to hurt people. Like I try to treat people the best way that I possibly can because I want you to treat me the best way possible. Right? So treat people the way you want to be treated. But that's just me personally. That's why I would never accept a cheater back. It's a multi-stage process. You have five, six opportunities to sit here and come forth and cut it off and think about the person that you with. Instead, you thought about yourself. And with that being self said, I don't want to be with somebody that's selfish. I don't want to be with someone that's not going to think about me. Just thinks about what they want, what their desire are, what their urges, what their lust, what their whatever they want is calling them to do. I don't want somebody like that. I need somebody that's going to be considerate of me when we're in a relationship, just like I'd be considerate of them. So that's my reasons. Peace out, y'all.